Okay, assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon. Okay, radiation mechanism. So electromagnetic radiation is produced by the changing of time varying electric and magnetic fields due to the acceleration or deceleration of charges Q. Okay, if you have a charge, if it is static, so there's no current or time varying current produced. Therefore, no radiation. But if the uh, charge keep on moving forward, backward, forward, backward, and so on, okay, there's time varying electric and magnetic field produced. Therefore, the electromagnetic radiation or EM wave uh, exists. Okay, by referring to these figures, okay, the figure basically representing uh, different types of uh, ra radiation depending on uh, the structure. Um, a different type of structure okay so for example the first one for straight wire okay if there's charge but the charge is not moving so there's no current or time varying electric and magnetic field therefore no radiation however for the same structure straight wire if there's charge moving but with uniform velocity, still there's no radiation if the wire is still in straight condition. However, if the same wire is then bent or truncated and the charge is moving with uniform velocity, there's radiation exists. And lastly, okay, if there's charge oscillating in time motion okay oscillation so radiation exists although the wire is straight okay there's no specific rules for selecting an antenna for any particular frequency range or application okay but the antenna is designed based on the intended application. Okay, for example, uh, the antenna, uh, the, the the system needs a narrow bandwidth, uh, very high efficiency, uh, broad beam width, and so on. Okay, the slide shows the antenna parameters from the uh, circuit design process up to the transmission uh, state okay so in this course we are going to discuss uh, the space quantities okay related to the radiation pattern polarization directivity gain and etc okay the first antenna parameter that we are going to discuss is the radiation pattern. So the radiation, radiation pattern is basically the representation of the radiation properties of the antenna as a function of space. Okay, this is the uh, graphical representation of the antenna radiation pattern in which we uh, may see the maximum radiation towards the intended direction okay in this case the maximum radiation presented by the red color pointing upward okay and there are additional components in the radiation pattern which are the uh, side loops or minor loops and also the back loop so um, the radiation pattern may be presented in 3d so this is the example of 3d radiation pattern or in 2D patterns. Okay, in 2D patterns, either it is in polar form or Cartesian form. And uh, the plot, 3D or 2D plots, may be uh, presented for both horizontal and vertical uh, plane or representation. Okay, from uh, okay, this is an example of uh, the 2D radiation pattern. So uh, the components. Uh, that can be measured from the radiation pattern are uh, the 3D beam width, 
Okay, for example, this is the beam width. And then the directivity, so the intended direction, whether it's pointing uh, to the front at zero degree or at elevation angle of 30 degree and etc. Uh, and then we can have the sub loop labels as well, front to back ratio and others. Okay, if an antenna act as a transmitter or receiver, okay, the relation pattern will be similar, okay, due to reciprocal characteristic of the antenna. Okay, for example, if it is a transmitter, so this is the uh, relation pattern, or if it is uh, acting as a receiver, and it will be having the same relation pattern. Okay, these are the uh, basic uh, definition of uh, field pattern versus uh, the power pattern, either it is in linear scale or in dB. Okay, for field pattern in linear scale, uh, it represents a plot of the magnitude of the electric or magnetic field as function of space. Okay, for power pattern, either it is in linear or in dB scale, represents a plot of square of the magnitude of electric or magnetic field as a function of angular space. Okay, so if this is in dB, so uh, the square of magnitude will be in dB as well. Okay, as mentioned in the slides number six, uh, the radiation pattern is determined in the far field region. So where is the far field region? If we refer to this uh, figure, you may see that the far field region is the outer layer of uh, the region from uh, the antenna itself. Okay, so the R is basically the distance from the antenna. So the far field region uh, appear when the distance from the antenna is larger than 2d squared over lambda. Okay, when a signal is fed into an antenna. Okay, the electromagnetic wave will be sent out over uh, the free space and the electromagnetic wave may be characterized by a function of distance from the antenna. So we may see that the EM wave behaves dif differently uh, when the distance between the antenna uh, is uh, varied. Okay, and antennas usually used to transfer signal at large distance, which are considered to be in the far field region. Okay, so this is the region of operation for most of antennas. Okay, uh, in measuring the uh, antenna in far field region, we have to make sure that the uh, R, the distance from the antenna, okay, the distance from the antenna must always larger than d d is the overall dimension overall linear dimension of the antenna and the r must always be larger than the lambda as well so lambda is the wavelength of the antenna uh, at the uh, intended frequency okay so in this case in the far field region so r2 must be larger than 2d squared over lambda so d is the uh, linear dimension of the antenna and lambda is c over f f is the frequency the resonant frequency or the intended frequency of the antenna okay this slide shows uh, some 3d uh, representation of the radiation pattern okay next is the 2d radiation pattern it is basically uh, the extraction or the cut off from the 3D pattern at uh, some plane. Okay, for example, if we cut it somewhere here, okay, and we look at it from the top, we may see this shape from top. Okay, we cut this at this plane. And this plane is called uh, horizontal plane or azimuth plane. 
okay, also called horizontal plane or H-plane, horizontal. And on the other hand, when we cut it over here, we cut it half over here. So we may see something like this, something like figure eight. Okay, this is the figure eight shape when we cut it vertically or at elevation plane. Okay, so the uh, antenna uh, may uh, the radiation pattern may be presented in two D plane. Either it is in polar plot or in Cartesian plot of coordinates. Okay, this is for example from this donut shape. When we cut it in vertically, okay, we may see figure eight shape from the antenna pattern, and when we cut it uh, horizontally or H plane or azimuth plane, we may see a round shape of the uh, antenna pattern. Okay, let's look at uh, the example of the radiation pattern for the dipole antenna. So this is dipole antenna. So for 3D radiation pattern, it looks like the donut shape. So when for the azimuth plane, the H plane, okay, when we cut it here, okay, and we look from the top, we may see a round shape, okay, represented uh, in the H plane, while when we cut it vertically, okay, half of it here, in this plane, in the E plane, so we may see the donut shape in the E plane or elevation or vertical plane. So for this shape of antenna or radiation pattern, so again when we cut it horizontally, we may see again another round shape or omnidirectional pattern omnidirectional meaning uh, the uh, radiation uh, across all direction okay but when we cut it vertically here okay we may see there's something like small loop there and there's another small loop at the bottom and we can see the other to uh, front loop and back loop okay so we can see something like this in the E plane okay this slide uh, briefly defined what is E plane and also what is H plane so E plane is the uh, elevation or vertical plane in which contain the electric field vector and the direction of maximum radiation while the H-plane or horizontal plane or also called azimuth plane is defined as the plane containing the magnetic field vector and the direction of the maximum radiation okay so this is the horizontal plane H-plane or azimuth and this is the 3D pattern. So when it is cut at uh, azimuth plane or horizontally, you may see a round shape or omnidirectional pattern. If you cut it vertically, so you may see figure it in vertical plane or also called elevation or E plane. Okay, another term that may be useful in antenna design is normalized radiation pattern in which uh, the pattern shown being normalized to the peak gain. So when you look at the maximum radiation, it is 1 because it's already being normalized to the peak gain. And normalized pattern is uh, especially useful when the side loops level and the depth of the null so this is the null area when the depth of the null and the side loop levels are of interest 
and it will be much easier to analyze or to read through the uh, the pattern and all levels all right so this is from the 3d pattern okay these are the uh, major look area and then we have the half power bin with H HPBW okay in which it happened at minus 3 dB when uh, the power uh, has been reduced by 50% from the peak power or it is basically 0 0.7 or 7 uh, in voltage okay and you may see the minor loops and side loops here and the back loop, back loop is basically the uh, opposite from the major loop. Okay, uh, the relation pattern will determine uh, the uh, characteristic of the antenna. Okay, some application uh, may uh, require very little or no side loop, uh, no back loop. Okay, because for example, in uh, human health monitoring, so the antenna. Uh, should be designed with a uh, lower big loop okay, to make sure there's no energy being absorbed by the human body. Okay, this is uh, these are some representation of the mobilized radiation pattern in linear value and also in uh, dB values. Okay, next is the relation pattern loops as mentioned earlier it consists of the major loop where it has the maximum uh, radiation in the intended region and it consists of a full null beam width okay so we can see that at this point it approach the magnitude is zero so when we represent it in 2d so this area, this one, is the region of full null beam width, while the half power beam width is from this area to this area in the plot. So again, half power beam width represented by minus 3 dB when the power is reduced by 50% from its maximum value and the, and the um, side loops can be seen on the right and on the right, uh, left hand side okay loops uh, by definition it is various part of the radiation pattern consists of main minor side and big back loops and the radiation lobe is the portion of the radiation pattern bounded by regions of relatively weak radiation intensity. So the side loops can represent the weak radiation intensity if compared to the major loop. So major loop also called mean beam, which defined as the radiation loop containing the direction of maximum radiation. And then the side loop is a radiation loop in any direction other than the intended loop or the major loop. And the back loop is the radiation loop whose axis met an angle approximately 180 degree respect, with respect to the main loop or the main beam. So it's basically, the back loop is basically opposite the major loop. Okay, next is the pattern classification. It depends on the direction of the antenna. Okay, this is for isotropic or omnidirectional pattern in which the antenna radiates equally in all directions. Okay, for example, if you have a dipole antenna, okay, you may see the radiation pattern is in circular shape or donut shape. In this representation, we may see the maximum radiation uh, represented by red color. So the maximum uh, radiation occurs surrounding the structure. Okay, so example dipole antenna emit, emit equal power in all horizontal direction. 
and this is also called omnidirectional pattern. So when we plot it in 3D or 2D, it looks like a donut shape. Okay, now the types of pattern classification is directional pattern. By definition, uh, directional meaning that the antenna radiating or receiving electromagnetic wave more effectively in some direction than the other directions. For example, the horn antennas okay, having uh, the Roots. So this is showing that the horn antenna uh, having the directional uh, pattern pointing to the intended direction. Same goes to the uh, Yagi Uda antenna also having the directional pattern in which we can see the main loop pointing upwards while having the uh, very minimal uh, side loops and also back loop. Okay, another parameter can be measured from the radiation pattern is the beam width. So the beam width is the angular separation between two identical points on opposite side of the pattern maximum. So there are two types of beam width, which are the half power beam width, HPPW. This happens when the power reduced by 50% uh, from the maximum uh, power. Uh, it is at minus 3 dB level. And the first null beam width is the angular separation between the first nulls of the pattern. Okay, so this is the first null of the pattern. So where the FNBW is measured. And the HPPW, the half power beam width, is measured at minus 3 dB or equal to 0 0.707 in linear. Okay, from the uh, description of uh, field pattern and power pattern, in slides number seven and this figure you have seen this in slide number 12 so let's look at uh, the difference between these figures okay uh, this is the field pattern in linear in which it is the normalized value same goes to the power pattern normalized value in linear scale and this is in dp scale for power pattern Okay, for field pattern in linear, the maximum radiation uh, is 1 and the HPBW half power, half power in dB is negative 3 dB. Okay, so in which for power pattern in dB, you may see the power reduction by 3 dB at 3 dB point in which the power has been reduced by 30 uh, sorry by 50% uh, okay uh, and in linear this 3 dB for fill pattern equal to 0 0.707 so the HPBW is the separation difference between on the major loop so this is your major loop okay. so this is your major loop so the separation the angular separation distance between two half power points okay so half power point in this case in field pattern linear is at 0 0.7 or 7 so this is your hppw between two points on the major loop so the HPBW is the angle between these two points. So it's the angle between these two points. Okay, so the theta is measured from this point up to this point. So this is theta. So meaning that HPBW will be 
to data. For field pattern, the reference power is 0.7 or 7 in linear. But for power pattern, okay, the maximum power is 1 in linear and the half power in power pattern equal to 0 0.5. Okay, this is for power pattern and the first one just now is field pattern in linear, both in linear. So for power pattern, the half power is equal to 0 0.5. So H half power equal to 0 0.5. For field pattern, the half power equal to 0 0.707. So at this point, the same uh, concept is the sep angular separation distance between two half power points. So for this power pattern, half power point is at 0 0.5. Okay. So the theta is in between here. So this is your theta, meaning that for a uh, power pattern, the uh, theta equal to so again, the theta is measured on the right, uh, right hand side for theta, meaning that hash PPW equal to 2 theta. So considering both sides. Okay, for power pattern in dB, so as mentioned earlier, it is uh, the half power uh, points uh, is 3 dB down from the maximum. Uh, radiation uh, uh, intended radiation okay so the uh, theta the HPPW for H uh, for the power pattern in DB uh, again equals to 2 theta and it is uh, happening at minus 3 dB points okay it's very important uh, to read through the condition whether uh, the you are having the power pattern or field pattern in your analysis okay let's look at this example an antenna has a field pattern okay so the keyword here is field pattern given by this equation find the hpbw okay and it will be uh, in radians or degrees Okay, if uh, it is not stated whether it's radian or decrease, you may uh, calculate either one. If stated both radians and decrease, so you need to convert the radian into decrease as well. Right, so field pattern. Okay, so considering the main loop, we know that this is the theta. And the maximum radiation is 1. So for field pattern, the 3 dB point is at uh, 0, 0 0.707. Oops. At this point, and this point is 0 0.707. So you need to calculate the theta in between this separation. This is equal to 2 theta. Okay, so you are given the field pattern equation E theta equal to cos theta. And the half power beam width for field pattern linear is equal to 0 0.707. So you need to calculate the theta. Okay, so by using identities, okay, so you need to consider some mathematical operation here. So for cos squared theta equal to 1 over 2, 1 plus cos 2 theta, it is equal to the half power, 0 0.707. So your cos 2 theta equal to 
0 0.747 multiplied by 2 minus 1. So you can calculate your 2 theta equal to 65.5 degrees. Okay, so meaning that your HPPW, so therefore your HPPW is equal to 65.5 degrees or if you want to use radians so you can convert this into radians uh, and if not then you can just leave it as uh, the degree value okay since the question asks you for HPPW so it you need to consider both the two theta if the question only asks you for theta then you need to divide uh, this equation, uh, the theta by uh, 2. Okay, let's look at the second example. Given uh, the following condition, so the question asks you to find the half power beam width and also the first null beam width in radian and degrees for the following radiation intensity. Okay, what is radiation intensity? It's basically the the power okay the uh, in example one we use the fill uh, fill pattern so in this case the radiation intensity presented by the power pattern so we know half power for um, power pattern equal in linear equal to 0 0.5 and the null power Okay, since it is now, so it is equal to zero. So this is the power pattern. So we're still considering the uh, main loop. So maximum is one. And then we have the half power at 0 0.5. So you need to measure the theta in between two points. So this is your HPBW, which is equal to two theta. Okay, and then the null power is measured at the null position. So this is null position near the major loop. So this is your null uh, pattern separation angular separation. So at uh, zero, so you need to find the. We can call it. This is um, theta h p p w, and this is two theta for d null d n. Okay, so let's consider the given equation. So the radiation intensity U theta equal to cos 3 theta. So for HPBW, we know that this cos 3 theta equal to the half power is 0 0.5. So you need to find the theta. So in this case, 3 theta equals to equal to inverse cos of 0 0.5, which is equal to uh, 60 degree, and the theta equivalent to 60 divided by 3 equal to 20 degree. Okay, but don't forget that HPPW, you need to find it. The, the, the separation and um, the angular separation given by 2 theta. So 2 theta for HPW, HPPW equal to 2 times 20 degree equal to 40 degree. And don't forget that the question asks you to, to provide the answer in radian as well. So you need to convert this 2 theta in degree uh, into radian. So in this case, in radian, it is equal to, so 2 theta h equal to 40 divided by 
180 times pi. So you get uh, 2 pi over 9 radians. So your HPPW equal to this. Okay, and next you need to get the FNBW, the first null beam width, again in radians and degrees as well. So the same steps, but the power now equal to zero. So for um, FNBW, so you have the same equation. So cos 3 theta equal to zero. So calculate the theta. It's supposed to be um, 30 degree. Okay, let me calculate. Inverse cos divided by 3 is 30 degree. Okay, don't forget for uh, F and BW you need the 2 theta and for now so this is equal to 2 times 30 equal to 60 degree and don't forget to convert that into radian as well so in radian 2 theta null equal to 60 divided by 180 times pi equal to 1 over 3 pi don't forget the unit in radian so therefore your F and B W equal to 60 degree also equal to 1 over 3 by radian. Okay, with that, uh, I'll end uh, this session. Thank you.